Hi, this is Justin Garnett with BasketMakerAutl.com. In this little video, I'm going to be talking about how to make a set of adjustable finger loops for a basket maker atl. This is a style that I've come up with myself. This is not archaeologically represented, um, although it is uh, very simple and allows you to change the size of your finger loops very quickly um, to suit the fingers of different throwers. In my experience, basket maker outlottle finger loops work best when they are sized to the size of the fingers of the uh, individual user. Now this, this means that when I make a set of loops for myself, they function very well, but it's kind of a problem to then hand this outlottle off to another person um, with different sized fingers to let them have an idea of what it's like to, uh, to throw a, a basket maker type outlottle. So in situations like that, I have uh, come up with a number of, of strategies. The first, of course, is to carry multiple uh, lottles with me um, and in that way have some with larger, larger finger loops and some with smaller. But if you actually want to you know, carry a, a, lighter, a lighter kit and just have the, have the one, um, a solution that I've come up with, and as far as I know, I'm the, I'm the only person that has um, done this, um, since there's really nothing new under the sun, I'm sure somebody somewhere along the line has, has thought of uh, doing this with an model before. But um, as far as I know, this is, this is essentially my idea. Um, anyway, for these situations, I've come up with an adjustable loop. And the technology of this uh, loop couldn't be, uh, couldn't be much simpler. It's a flat strip of, uh, of leather which tapers on the tips and passes through two holes in the uh, shaft of the model. And these holes are drilled um, at opposing angles. So the bottom hole goes in at an angle like this. The top hole goes in at an angle like this. And what that does is it makes it so that when the tails of the leather pass through this uh, wood, there it takes a you know generates a huge amount of, uh, of friction and resistance uh, to to pull on them. So to reassemble this, I just uh, slide the there's a slit in the middle here. Just slide it up. Take my tails bring them together, pass them together through the uh, hole, put some fingers through here for, uh, for size reference, I don't want to make it too small all at once, put this through the other side, passing the other direction, and pull tight. And when you do that, as I say, it's, it's very difficult for this um, hole um, assembly to slide down. You'll see I have a little bit of extra slack in my finger loops here. So what I'll do is come in with my fingers in place, pull up to get my to get my slack uh, out, and then pull down. And now there's essentially not really much chance of this uh, of this whole affair um, sliding because it has to overcome um, a great deal of, um, of friction here and here. So that makes a very solid, uh, a very solid, um, albeit simple loop. All right, hope that's useful for somebody.